Hey guys, today we have a super chill video where we're just talking about a little light bulb. Oh. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. Okay, in case you've been living under a ding dang rock, this is the Aperture B7C. It's an amazing little light bulb with a built-in battery, full RGB controls, and I wanted to give you guys 10 creative uses for this little light bulb that maybe you haven't thought of. So, let's get into it. Number one, juggle it. Recently, I did a full review of this little anamorphic lens from Searway, and instead of just static tripod product shots, I wanted to add a little bit of life to the frame, so I set up the lens on a table, set up my tripod and camera, obviously, and then I just used the B7C to slowly pan over the lens to create nice rings of light on the product. And I filmed in slow motion so I could drag those shots on longer and just make them look really smooth. And the great thing is you don't have to worry about flicker on camera, even if you're filming with the light super dim. There was one shot that I really loved from this lens review. And basically all I did was I put the bulb behind the lens so you couldn't see it on camera. And then I used the color wheel and it made the lens look like it was having a disco party inside it. So feel free to take that one and use this thing to spice up your product B-roll shots. With a bulb like this, you can get really high quality light inside small spaces like a fridge or a cabinet, anything you can dream up. So your light will be high quality and it's nice and soft because the front element of this bulb is diffused. I'm gonna use cheese as a tripod. And then if you need to create an effect where the light turns off in the fridge, just as soon as the fridge door shuts, you just cut the footage to black and leave the audio in. I'm feeling weenie. Idea, maybe when I grab the weenie, then it could change to a golden effect or like a magenta to like signal that the weenie means a lot to me or something. I'm gonna try to push this button as I grab weenie. Fade to black. And action. The chosen weenie. Call 1-800-800-800-800 for $800 off your first purchase of 800 bulbs or more or less. So if you want your lighting in the background of your shots to just be high quality, fully controllable, then you can snag something like this. Background lights, you don't want them to be too distracting depending on what you're shooting. You can turn the brightness super low on these things. This is 3.3% right here. So it's nice and subtle, but still high quality and you can color match all the bulbs together so they're just perfect in the back of your scene. We're gonna match our aperture bulb to this standard Alexa bulb that I use and we're gonna try to get the exact same color. So in the app, we're gonna go to color and then picker. I'm gonna do it on the lampshade. <laughs> oh baby. Creative tip number four that you for sure didn't think of is using this little bad boy as a party trick. Hey man, do you wanna see what I learned in quarantines? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I can hold this and keep it alive with the, just the strength of myself. That's, I've learned self-strength. I have electro powers. Is that the Aperture B7C that came out this year? No. We're gonna pull this brightness down and then go to our effects area. We're gonna look for flame, fire, that should work. And if you can see this, it looks like these are actually really close in color temperature already. So here's the candle in the shot and what it looks like. Now, if I turn on the light bulb, we get a little bit of extra light and we can set it just out of frame next to the candle and then dial up our exposure until we get what we want. And it looks very motivated. It looks like the candle is lighting my face. And here's what it looks like without the bulb helping. Did your power go out? Is your flashlight super broken? Well, try the new Aperture B7C. <laughs> there it is. Come here, you little devil. 
There's this YouTuber named Crazy Neistat. He's, I don't know if you've heard of him, he's a great guy. In his vlogs, he had this famous top-down shot set up where he would just mount his camera to this wooden stick and it was aimed right down. In the corners right above his camera were four little lanterns with light bulbs inside that would evenly light his whole setup. Now imagine with me, these were the four bulbs that would be in those little lanterns you could get super bright, super soft, even lighting in those lanterns. Actually, you probably wouldn't even need the lanterns because this is already so soft. I'm going blind, I'm looking at this too much. I like to read at night and I've been using this crappy little lamp next to my bed and I can barely see anything. And then I thought to myself, oh, I have a light bulb that doesn't need to be plugged in all the time. So I've actually been keeping this light bulb on that little stand next to my bed. And at night, I'll just turn it on, keep the brightness really low, and I can just like set it on my chest or set it next to me, and the soft light actually hits my book really nicely, and you can use it as a reading light. It's very good, doesn't hurt your eyes if you don't stare directly into it. Well guys, it's been a fun time talking to you about this little blue egg light, but I think the power is starting to get to me. <laughs>